After spending two months in the cold, spring break crept around and I decided to escape to Portugal for two weeks to explore a new country where the sun was not afraid to come out. Garlic. stop on my tour of Portugal was Porto, known for its wine and laid-back vibe. We spent two days with wine glasses in hand, strolling through its pretty streets and exploring this charming little city. Sadie. morning, we grabbed breakfast at this adorable cafe to fuel up for our thrift day. He's guarding the door. Our first stop was Wild at Heart. They had clip-on earrings of all colors and shapes, so we both got a few pairs. Next, we went to Montpair, where I found this fun wraparound skirt I promptly purchased. Kind of reminds me of Jimaguas. I've been trying to shop a lot more thoughtfully lately, only purchasing things I'm obsessed with and know I'll wear a lot. I also feel like I'm more into buying accessories just because they allow me to amp up my fits. Here. from all the shopping. We had the most delicious lunch at a certain cafe. I got artichoke stracciatella with bread and it was so freaking good. If I see burrata on the menu, I order. It's a rule I live by and it has never let me down. So such a lovely vibe and delicious food in a nice open space. So somewhere warmer than Copenhagen for a while. Walking around with nothing but a light jacket on was heavenly. We quickly noticed why Portugal is known for its tiles. All the buildings were covered in tiles of all colors and designs. It brought such liveliness and color to the streets. Every building had its own kind of personality. It was really cool to take in. Our thrifting at the multiple Humana locations across the city before walking through this new market which had loads of fresh produce, flowers, and the coolest dried fruit. We tried dried hibiscus which was incredible. Hibiscus. Oh my god. Come on, bon. Garlic. And we got some fruit as well as an afternoon snack. Isn't it good? It's warm. They make them. Mm. I wish I could taste it more. That's really good though. Thank you. No bad. <coughs> that should be an option for me. Put that in. <laughs> that did not I I fell just happen. We're going to base to get some drinks before dinner. I don't know. <gasps> don't <make laughs> it. As the sun's rays slowly disappeared, we enjoyed drinks at base. It's because it's when the grape is green. We tried the traditional green wine, which I'm convinced cured my sickness. Not to be an advocate for alcohol or anything, but that wine actually made my nose stop running and like soothed me. I can't even explain it. Shots we were given at the restaurant later also cured Sadie's stomach. So I think that for once, alcohol was on our side on this day. <laughs> But yeah, we got kind of mid Mexican food afterwards and Sadie got chased outside the restaurant as we left by our server who was quite smitten with her. Thank you. Then I lick it, then I drink the tequila, on the end I'll bite the lemon. <laughs> Cheers. You forgot to lick the salt. You did it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We started off our second day at Honest Greens, which is a classic. Have you been to Portugal if you haven't eaten here? I don't know. It's clearly a tourist spot, which I usually try to avoid, but the food is actually really good. We in the city. to 
Parque das Virtudes and sat down for a while reading and enjoying the warmth of the sun up on the hill. It was so peaceful and quiet. I think we all needed a little downtime and this place was the perfect spot to have it in. The green looks so luscious. We eventually made our way by the water where we sat down for wine, cappuccinos, and a quick bite. Oh. Yes. Yesterday. Better yesterday, but it's still good. My cappuccino was a literal dessert. I was genuinely confused. Like, I just kept thinking that if my dad had ordered a cappuccino and gotten that at a restaurant, he'd be so confused. Maybe they just accidentally brought me hot chocolate. I'm not really sure. Hey, We luckily passed by this tile store we decided to peek into where we all found such gorgeous jewelry and pendants. I went ham here. I found so many pieces that I loved. Got my nails. Sadie's <laughs> rings. Love. Got some goodies. stuff I got important. We did some damage. First thing we got, they had so many cool clip-ons and these are the ones that stuck with me. Star sweater that I wore today. Fairy Heaven by Marc Jacobs vibes. And then I got this cute little tank top, this Ralph Lauren vest. Just with a mini skirt on your ear. Oh no. <laughs> I got this wraparound skirt. I got this top at Humana. Went off today. I got this necklace. I really like the colors. And then to match. So pretty. A big necklace like this. And that's it. Actually such a successful two days. We then went for dinner at the best tapas spot in the city. There was an army outside when they opened and everyone was shoving each other to get in. I actually have never experienced such a hardcore entrance into a restaurant. Shout out to Sadie for doing the dirty work. Absolutely worth the push and shove, however. It's a wine girl. <laughs> got this raw tuna toasty as an appetizer that was to die for. And Into the mosh pit? Yeah. Sadie and I then shared the fried rice, which was truly insane. This dish was everything and more. I could not recommend this place enough, but make a reservation if you can, or be prepared to fight for a spot. <laughs> Got a pastel banana. Oh, it's warm. I should have brought this candy. <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> Sadie spent 10 euros at the Captain Candy. What do you put in as the user? the heck is that? Why aren't you? That's why you're running out of data. Yeah. Next stop is Lisbon, which was one of my favorite places I've ever been. It's a really, really fun vlog, so stay tuned. Mm -hmm. 